for me on her t uh, two two three two. I don't know that specific setup. I know. Actually, I, I won't say I know <laughs> the, the special numbers. I just know what they do. Oh, he has the down B where it's uh, pseudo Samus Bomb, but it's uh, but it's placement type. Yeah. So. All right, trying to challenge Charlie with his own la uh, Charlie's blaster with his own laser here, but just gonna lose out on that exchange just for now. Using the forward air to come back off stage, and Charlie chasing him all the way there with a wolf flash angle downwards. Very oh, nice. He confirm. waited for that jump recovery. Oh wow! I'm sorry. He waited for that that last act to Charlie upwards. I've never seen that side B. All right. Oh, it's basically like um, it's like explosive flame. It, it's very similar to like uh, I think it's Cassis. Cassis, yes. Yeah. All right. Gets him with the setup on the grenade and the up smash. I love all this movement that MM Leo has been doing. Still sitting at a very decent percent against Charlie the King here. Charlie's sort of adapting to the range that he needs to be in to catch on to MM Leo here. Still playing very evasive against him. Nice, catching the jump with the laser as well. Yeah, he could use a double jump there to kind of avoid getting hit. And mixing up the timing for the grab. I mean, Charlie knows, man. Once he gets his claws on him, it's going to be some damage. But MM Leo knows. I can't let this guy get his claws on me because I want to avoid that damage. Yeah, at, like the grenades on uh, on gunner are kind of weird because if it explodes naturally, it won't hurt the gunner. But if you if you hit it back, gunner will get hit by the by the explosion, and the person who sent it back will also get hit by the explosion. So it's kind of oh, okay. like a pseudo gr uh, snake grenade. All right, throws another grenade down. Just again, Charlie's kind of adept to how he's using these bombs here. And knows, yep. okay, I gotta move around with some aerials and some double jumps, mix up the timing here. And then MMLeo will kind of have to adjust to me, though. But MMLeo, that shift damage kind of added up to 93%, and it could be another stop with the way how things are going. All right, does get him with a, all hits of forward tilt there, sends him back to the other side of the stage, and gets hit with another side B there. Oh, gonna take it, take a stock that time. MMLeo doing super well at keeping this distance between him and Charlie the King and making it even further. Down throw into back air, not gonna connect. Gets with the back throw, another laser. These grenade setups are doing wonders for MMLeo here. Grenade setup for the roll get up, catches him on the jump with the laser. These two are. Charlie the King is losing percentage by the second. All right, 80, a slow, starting to slow down, just jumping over these lasers, holding shield against these lasers, but that shield is just not gonna help him once he gets shield poked by up air. Oh wow, him. that grenade ate up his blaster. Yeah, oh no, and the last opportunity. MM Leo kind of controlling the range in which Charlie would love to get in. But like, like I said, right, once Charlie gets caught in its big damage, big combos, but if MM Leo controls that, it's really difficult for Charlie to find here. Game one, yeah. going to MM Leo. This is still winner's quarters here, so I mean, only a best of three. Charlie has one last chance. Yeah, and Charlie has finally seen the whole set from, uh, from MM Leo now. Hopefully he can adapt, uh, but Emma Leo has been doing really well at clo uh, containing him at, at mid-range to long-range. As soon as he gets to close range, he widens the gap yet again. I uh, wonder if Charlie's going to opt to use Reflector a little bit more. He started using it towards the end a little bit, mm -hmm. but with how MM Leo is playing, it looks like he wants to go rush down a little bit more. But that cost him the stocks and the percentage last game. All right. Do a run into that grenade again, into that into Sorry, double laser. For the side special, it's called Stealth Burst. Stealth Burst, all right. Wasn't able to see it when he was setting it up on the stream. Gonna go with the Firewolf. And very nice patience, just waiting out the grenade and the forward smash. Does get the bread and butter down throw into forward, uh, into dash attack. Yeah, and then of course the little bombs we're seeing that are very much like Samus' bomb bomb, it's called Bomb Drop. Bomb Drop, there we go. All right, Charlie, once again, knows I gotta mix in the timing when I'm getting it on MM Leo. Wanna avoid the stealth burst and the bomb drop as much as possible. There's we'll the reflector. Be, we'll seem to be the bread and butter coming out from MM Leo to keep Charlie away. Yeah, and he's been using, he's been playing like uh, Amber was back in Smash 4, using yeah. his forward airs to move backwards and uh, reposition him away from his opponent. And that's kind of one of the nerfs Gunner kind of got, right? Back then, forward air kind of had a, an interesting factor where it would push you 
back a lot more, but now the ultimate, it's kind of been reduced. Yeah, it was like more than half of the stage yeah. back in Smash Forward. Now yeah, it's like would do quarter. Like some crazy cross-ups. Yeah, tries to get him on a jump get-up with the forward tilt, not able to get his claws on his target here. But Charlie the King doing much better in this game, has the percentage lead, but he has to get the stock stealth burst, just barely missing on that spot dodge. Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, MM Leo is at least, I'm not, uh, I might be wrong on this one, sorry, I apologize, but I know MM Leo is ranked at least in the top five of the San Diego PR. Yeah, and we can see right now as to why. Ooh, not able to get back with the up B number two there. All right, another bomb drop on the shield. I like it. He was trying to predict a rollout, but Charlie not gave it to him. Stealth burst going to catch him off guard. He, that was actually a really good stealth burst too, because he did it right. He did stealth burst right above the ledge, so it was trailing like where Charlie really couldn't see it when he was trying to set up the blasters. I like it. Charlie kind of understanding, you know what? If MMLL wants to play lame, I'm the one with the stock lead. Like, he might have to come to me. I got Reflector. I got up. I got moves. I got the back air. I got the stage. And oh. I got that neutral air to keep you going low. Charlie stealing out the stock from MMLL. Now he can pretty much play as lame as he wants and frustrate MMLL. He just got five minutes plus on the clock, but hey, Charlie has all the time in the world he needs. I wouldn't call it lame. I would, I would call it more, more patient. Yeah. Uh, more patient and laid back. Uh, and he's he's adjusted to MM Leo's game, and MM Leo can't play the game he wants anymore. He has to go in. Charlie yeah. has all the freedom in the world to just sit back. And he understood that too. He knows, like, okay, hold on. If I get the lead here, if I'm able to mix up my timing, understand MM Leo's game plan, like how he did the last game, even though it was too late, game three, game two, I'm sorry, it's not working much better for Charlie. All right, all these hitboxes are missing for Charlie Yo, here. Just a I little bit missing. Yeah, I'm questioning too because that neutral air seems to be like it was supposed to be there. It seemed like he tried to get the weak hit of neutral air as well. He didn't want the strike. He just wanted to, to hit M MM Leo back off stage. Yeah. MM Leo has been having such a hard time trying to get back to stage this whole game. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at him. Look at him, man. You want to play patient? I'll play patient with you. Who can play the game? I got the lead. That's what I'm telling you, man. Full jab here. He get, does get the stealth burst this time. Yep. Oh, he read the mighty. Jump. He read the jump. And there's a reason why. It's because MM Leo kind of wanted to get around Charlie, come back center stage a little bit, try to push advantage. Charlie said, fine, man, you've been at the lead for such a long time. I know when you're jumping. I know when you're scared. I smell blood. I smell the fear. Yeah, and that's that's one of the best things you can have as the bounty hunter. He can control the pace of the match as uh, to his whim. I could totally forget Wolf is a bounty hunter. Yeah, right? I forget that, that I'm, I'm like, Samus and Captain Falcon are also bounty hunters. hunters. Yeah. Star, yeah, Star, even Star Fox is bounty hunters, technically. They're oh, only, right, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, Star Fox is bounty hunters. It's just they're more of like a good guy bounty hunter. Wolf is Fal like... Falco was a converted bounty hunter as yeah, well, Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. He was, he was like, yeah. The lore of Star Fox is like, Star Fox is more of like a... They're, they're employed by Corn the Corneria star yeah. system, so they're like more good guys, but Star Wolf is employed by Andros, so they're rival bounty hunter teams. Yeah. And right, also Star Fox, dude. I, I miss that series so much. I'm surprised... I'm hoping to see Star Fox Assault remade, but hey, let's get right into it, man. I can talk about Star Fox another day. MM Leo switching out Mii's here for right. the sword. So we got Mii Sword Fighter here. He's got... Uh, don't them. I, I, don't, I don't even know what the stars are called. I'm, gonna call man, them stars I'm sure Kins stars look sure cheap. Shurikens, Shurikens, there we go. Man, they look cheap, man. They used to look a lot nicer back to before, but hey. He also has the counter and the, uh, the quick draw. Yeah. I, I don't know the official name. I'm going to just call it quick draw for now, uh, as that is what Ike's side B is called. Does get him on the jump there with the quick draw there. Back three. Oh, nice. Going for up throw. I mean, Leo might have been DI in the back right here, but Charlie will make sure he mixes it up. Oh, he has he has the, the spike up B as well. Seems a lot of the Mii's that we're seeing today. Uh, the oh, may that's, oh. a, uh, that's a drag no, down. No that's way. A drag down. But Charlie will say, you know what, fine, if you went down with me, man, I guess something was lost here. But yeah, I don't I, I don't think that was uh, worth it for MM Leo. No. Definitely should have waited until Charlie went back up because because Wolf extends his foot up. Yeah. Definitely could have caught him there, but well, whatever happens, happens. MM Leo trying to come back to this uh, to this game here, getting really stuffed out by Charlie again. Yeah, and when you see the Mii Sword, honestly, it's a character that we saw a lot. We talked about metas, right? Mii Sword was kind of one of those characters we saw in the meta as being a great high tier, and then you just saw no representation. And he still has some great tools. It's just no one represents the character to such stature. Yeah, and we saw earlier uh, in in this tournament, uh, uh, Cabbage's uh, Mii Sword Fighter with with a uh, hero spin. Uh, Chakram, 
uh, Reflector, and Tornado. We see none of those on MM Leos here, so it's a completely different. Yo, wait a minute. Yeah. I did not even see that it, yeah, counter it, it, activate. It, it, it's, it's a core encounter, honestly. It just sends you straight up. I didn't even see the starting frames of that. I just thought MM Leo got hit. No, I, 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 I think he just predicted it at that moment. Just got him at, got it out in time. Yeah, I like I like that fact that Charlie was trying to read the roll get up on MM Leo. He knows it was at the ledge, right? He wanted to roll back towards center stage. Read that out with a forward smash. I like how when Charlie the King throws out a blaster, MM Leo has a, a shuriken out just in case because it goes right below the blaster, actually. What a drift on that upbeat. I didn't even see it coming myself. Dash attack gets the cross up here. Another cross up. Charlie, I like how Charlie's playing a little bit safe, though. He knows. I crossed him up, but I shouldn't be going in here. I have to be careful. Yeah. Show a little bit of signs of respect to MM Leo. I also like how MM Leo. Under wow. <laughs> Missed grab. I like how uh, uh, MM Leo also understands when C uh, Charlie goes for the cross ups. He's trying to get him with the backers out of shield, but he's not able to get it in time. And these quick draws are doing really well at controlling Charlie. Back, to, back off stage. Yeah, not enough kill power there. Charlie's still at 154, but Emily has brought it close to the stocks here. Ooh. Forward smash having enough range. Just get him on the tip of the forward smash again. Charlie resetting himself, just holding, uh, going back. Ooh. Yeah. Wow, it caught him on the jump get up as well, I believe. Yeah. Either that, or he just ran out of invincibility at that moment. Oh, big damage. We talked about it, right? Once Charlie gets his claws on you, it's damage on the combo. I honestly thought that Charlie was going to go for Wolf Flash here, but definitely not going to risk it, especially with the one stock across both players here. Another star uh, Shuriken going to interrupt him after the Blaster here. I love the placements from M, M. Leo. I'm trying to see why M. M. Leo enjoys the Mies, the Mies, and Mega Man, right? Those specials do such a mileage of work. Yeah, and especially with, uh, with matchup experience, the, the player you're fighting against has to learn it on the fly. Yeah, and we're definitely seeing that from Charlie. Nice, he waited, he waited, he waited. He knows there were there were two counters I saw MM Leo do off stage. I'm not gonna let him get on stage and try to sneak it into me. Yeah, and MM Leo's doing really well in making Charlie respect his recovery series. He's oh, going high. There's the whiff. Low. There's the whiff. Punish this man for a for a down air. Yeah, and Charlie again just retreating back to stage, does not want to get uh spiked for no reason off off of that upbeat. Could be kidnapped just like Krom and Ike. I, and um I've been seeing this a lot lately, but a lot of the melee me fighters want to have, well, seem to want to have the the spiking upbees. Mm -hmm. Charlie doesn't have his upbee. Oh, he does get oh, the and gun he it in on the last second with the up special. I mean, you talk about how he extends his foot as a hurtbox. Yeah, the hitbox still out there, very much. Yeah, in play. definitely. And that was really as also a 